taken away by Lemoyne. Watkins gets it back. Oh. The number 10 USC Trojans kept the momentum rolling with a 93-42 win over Lemoyne College at Galen Center. The Trojans are led by freshman guard Juju Watkins, whose college start has exceeded expectations by Trojan fans. The number one recruit put on another show, scored 35 points, 9 rebounds, 2 assists, and 6 steals. Watkins was deadly from both mid-range and 3, hitting 6 three-pointers and 13 field goals. Line sends it left corner for Watkins. Steps into the corner, tries a jumper, and nail. Watkins straight away for the triple. Halfway home in the first quarter, Watkins another triple. But the rebound, Karam's out to Watkins. She tries her luck, gets it to go, and the top. Watkins weaves, flips it. Able. That's too strong. Watkins the offensive board. Up in traffic. Trojans poke it away. Padilla flings it forward. Watkins over Lusher and downstairs. Taken away by Lemoyne. Watkins gets it back. Up in the head. Watkins pulls up from the elbow. It's easy. In the world of women's college basketball, few freshmen have made an immediate impact like USC's Juju Watkins. Her latest performance, a stunning 35-point game against Lemoyne on November 13, not only solidified her as a rising star, but also left her reflecting on an already impressive start to her collegiate career. Despite being a freshman, Watkins has quickly adapted to the collegiate level, totaling 83 points in her first three games. This remarkable feat includes a 32-point outing in the Trojans' season opener against the number 7 Ohio State. Her performances earned her the Pac-12 Freshman of the Week title, a fitting acknowledgement for her impressive start. The game against La Moyne also saw Watkins enter the ranks of Lisa Leslie, as the only other USC freshman to have multiple 30-point games in the span of three games. USC coach Lindsey Gottlieb praised Watkins, saying the freshman's game was flawless. The Trojans, whose season started with a notable upset of Ohio State, have climbed to their highest ranking since the 1993-94 season. Gottlieb, while acknowledging the significance of the polls, emphasized the team's focus on long-term goals. USC will travel to Nassau, Bahamas, to face Seton Hall November 20th at 6 p.m. in the Bahamar Pink Flamingo Championship. Lemoyne dribbles it out, and USC um, with a dominant victory, 93-42 the final. Hey, don't Pro underestimate USC. I mean, we're on the rise. We're in the gym 24-7, working on ways to get better, come out here and play our opponents and get the dub. That's all that matters.